Hello, Bishop Wooden here. I pray that you're doing well. I pray that you are enjoying the goodness of the Lord. It's that time of the year again. We're entering into uh, what is called now uh, the holiday season, but we call it the Christmas season. But I, I guess holiday season right now is appropriate because the holiday that is uh, immediately uh, amongst us, that, that's here, is Thanksgiving. A time that's set aside every year to give thanks uh, for the blessings and the bounty that has come our way. And we do not give thanks as Christians to some unknown force. We don't give thanks to goodness. We don't give thanks uh, to uh, some entity. We give thanks to the God of the Bible because the Lord is has been good to us and the Lord has been faithful and the Lord has been kind and the truth is uh, to quote uh, someone else um, he's been better to us than we deserve and so here we are uh, in the Thanksgiving uh, holiday weekend and uh, I pray that uh, the Lord has blessed you and has provided the provisions that you need to celebrate this time of the year also a wonderful thing that takes place uh, every year at this time uh, is that we have our Thanksgiving Day service at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Now tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day, we will be here. The service will start at 10. I want you to meet me here at 10 sharp. And we are going to thank the God of the Bible together for his goodness toward us, how he's watched over us and have taken care of us. And my friends, I know that it's a big day. We have loved ones coming in town and visiting and food is being prepared and all of that. But, but I want you to take the time, just two hours, if that long, uh, from 10 to 12, if it lasts till noon, to come out and join us here. We're going to celebrate the goodness of the Lord together. The Lord has given me a message, and it's a message that when you leave, it's a message that you will take with you, and it's a message that will bless you real good. I've sought the Lord, and God has, God has something to say uh, to us on tomorrow. So I want you to meet me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ at 10 a.m., for the Thanksgiving Day service. So we call it the big, big Thanksgiving Day service. Uh, uh, and God is going to bless us. I've already heard from some pastor friends of mine who texted me or called me and said, Bishop, I'm going to be with you. And I want you, the members of the upper room, the members of the community, those who will be watching this, uh, 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 this, uh, this posting, I want you to come and join us here. And the Lord is going to bless us real good. Now, happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, hey, and by the way, uh, it's not Turkey Day. We're not celebrating a turkey. We're not celebrating food. We're celebrating the provider. We're not even celebrating the provisions. We're thankful for his provisions, but Thanksgiving is about celebrating and giving thanks to the provider, not uh, for not to the provisions, but for the provisions. And the Lord has marvelously provided for us. God bless you. And, and by the way, uh, you can really enjoy Thanksgiving when you've worked hard to make sure that someone else have been provided for. And here at the Upper Room, we don't broadcast on the news. You, you won't see it uh, in the coverage uh, uh, the things that we've done but every year we make sure there are people who are blessed but the reason we don't uh, broadcast it is that blessing people with food and, uh, and sustenance and, and things like that uh, is not something that the upper room does once a year it's not something that we save for Thanksgiving it's something that we do every week and I'm grateful to the congregants. I'm grateful to the saints who support the ministry because we're under the impression, and I think you'll agree with us, that people have to eat every day. People have to eat every week. So we do it all year long. And, uh, and we've learned this, that when you give your arms in secret, God who seeth in secret 
will reward you openly. So we do it. We do this without fanfare. We do it without calling the local news. We do it without attracting the cameras. And God who sees in secret rewards us openly. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'll see you tomorrow. There's a word from the Lord for you. God bless.